Hello everyone, welcome to Tasso Design Tutorials. Today we will learn how to make gradient flowers in Adobe Illustrator. For the pink flower, what you need is, is a polygon tool. So I will go to this tool and go to right click and select the polygon tool. Now double click here and this dialog box will appear how many sides you want in the polygon. For this flower, I want five sides, so I've selected the five sides and click on OK. Now, you can uh, change it full color, so you can see the color. I'll use a light color and click on OK. Now, go to Effect and go to Distort and Transform and go to Pucker and Bloat. Now it will change its shape as you will drag to the right side. Always click the preview option as you can preview it and go to the right side. Now as you can see it is changing its shape. I will set this to 42% and click on OK. For the idea I will drag this flower here so I can make this as it is. Now I will also zoom it a little bit so here i have used this petal this five petals i have made now again i will copy this by selecting the control c and control f control f is for place in the front now a copy has been made now i will drag i will resize it by click on the shift and the alt i'll drag it inwards and i'll rotate this now i will change it color to a darker tone a little bit you can see another layer also Now again, I will select this and make a copy of this, Control C, Control F and drag it by clicking on the shift and the alt and I will also date this and change it color to a darker tone. If you don't like the shape you can always uh, go to effect and the start and transform pucker and bold to apply the new effect if you don't like your flower you will learn this by trying this technique again and again and you can notice that you will be expert in two days only now click on ok now it is changing its shape and i'm liking the flower a little bit more than before so this one is better than before i guess And I will also make another layer out of this. I'll resize this. And I will also make a layer of this. Rotate this. First of all, resize this and rotate this and change it color. to a lighter tone now that's it now for the center flower i will again use a polygon tool and like this and it has six sides so i will change it to six sides 
click on OK and again go to distort and transform, pucker and bloat. And I will preview this. So I have a nice flower, six petals. And I will also draw a circle by using the eclipse tool. Click on the shift and change it color to white and drag this to center. And I will select both of them and group this. And I will resize it. I will also change this color to pink. By ungrouping this, I have only the blue color to change to pink. Ungroup this first of all and change this color to pink. Now I like this tone. Now I will drag this to the center and resize it. So now you can have a another flower like this and you can change it colors you can change the shape you can change the sides of the polygon you can increase the pucker and bloat or density whatever you want and make beautiful flowers out of it so this is it and we'll meet in the next tutorial bye bye till then